Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to be chatting through all the books that I read in the month of June. So this video is coming out a little bit late because I have just been procrastinating filming this video for weeks now and it's already mid-July by the time I'm finally filming this. So apologies if you've been waiting for my wrap up, it's, uh, it's taken me a little bit to get there, but we're gonna be chatting about the seven books that I read in June. It was a pretty decent reading month, quite a mixed bag of ratings and genres, so let's get into it. Starting off with the first book that I read in June, we have Mary by Nat Cassidy. This is a horror book and we follow our main character whose name is Mary and she is an older main character. She's middle-aged and she's just trying to just live in the background, really not be perceived and I believe she's working at this library or working at like this place where she deals with a lot of records and she's just really struggling with life and so she starts auto writing these strange thoughts and phrases and these killings start happening and it all is just really really interesting and at first this book was like a three star for me but then I read the like author's note at the end of the book and it brought so many aspects of this book into perspective and I ended up giving it four stars instead just based off of that author's note. It was truly one of the best author's notes I've ever read and it just really really accentuated the story quite nicely and I think Nat Cassidy does a great job of writing author's notes that go really well with his stories so I really enjoyed this one. I think it was a little long for the story that it was telling which is why I think it felt like a three star for me but would definitely recommend this one if you're interested. I think it is a great story on like female rage and being a woman in this world that is just not catered to for women and it's a very you know men's world and this is just a great horror book. The next book I have to talk about is really disappointing to me because I had loved this author's previous book and I was not a fan of this one and that is A Step Past Darkness by Vera Kurian. This is this author's latest book. Her other book is Never Saw Me Coming which I gave five stars. I loved that book but in this one we are following I think six different college students or something and are they like six students who went to school together but now they are coming back together to kind of uncover what has happened amongst their friend group and the the reveal of this book just frustrated me so so much and I just it really irritated me how the story was handled and it just felt too easy like everything was just spelled out so nicely by the end and while I do appreciate that on the one hand on the other it's just super frustrating to me as well that it was almost like one of the characters just knew the answers all along and was just like giving out all the answers throughout the book and it just felt really weird like I think one of the characters could actually see the future or something so she would like predict something and then that exact thing would happen and like that's a fine like gift or power to have but like could it be used a little better definitely like could it not all of her predictions come true definitely but literally everything she said was gonna happen happened exactly as she said it would and it just was really dumb to me so I gave this one two stars I was really frustrated with how this book was written and how the plot points came to be told to us so not a fan next up i read youth juice who i do not remember who the author was i just listened to this on libby and this one was very okay like i feel like this book is the definition of mediocre and okay which sounds really mean but it, there was truly nothing spectacular about this story for me so it reads very similarly to natural beauty but natural beauty is absolutely incredible so you should read that one instead but in this book we follow our main character who is I don't even remember she like gets she starts going to this new place of work and it's like all about trying to preserve beauty and youth for as long as possible so it was fine but like nothing incredible happened and I just was not that invested in the characters and I really care about the characters too much so it was a three star for me it was fine but after reading natural beauty nothing can compare to that <laughs> 
Next up, I read Blood Solace by Vila Roth. This is book two in the Grace Blood series, Blood Grace series, and I love this so much. Like, Leo and Cassia have my whole heart. I just love these two so much, but I also love that while this is romanticy, it very much is building and focusing on the fantasy world as well. It is not neglecting that at all. So there's lots of fantasy politics going on. And this one in particular was just like, ah, oh, like so heart wrenching because our two characters were apart for a very long time and they finally got to come back together. And it was just so heartwarming, so, so enjoyable. So, so if you are unfamiliar with this series, we follow our main characters, Cassia and Leo. Leo is a Hesperine, which is essentially a vampire in this world. And the Hesperines and the humans have a pretty tenuous relationship. Like it's not the best relationship, but they do have this oath amongst their two races that allow them to participate in this thing. I think it's some sort of oath or something. I'm honestly, not remembering but they're based they're like enemies but have like a sort of oath between them as well and then Cassia is the bastard daughter to the king and she's kind of frowned upon amongst the royalty nobody really cares about her very much but she starts to get to know Leo in the first book and things progress from there and it's just the sweetest relationship. I just love Leo and Cassia together. They're just the sweetest. So highly recommend this series and I'm looking forward to reading book three very soon. The next book that I read is You Know What You Did, which I read for the Literally Dead book club because my two besties were in the live show for that. So I will leave a link up above or down below or somewhere if you want to go check out the live show it was really fun. I loved hearing everyone's thoughts and this book was not my favorite <laughs> and I think that was kind of a universal experience amongst the hosts. So this is a thriller, like a psychological thriller in which we follow our main character. I'm forgetting her name. I think it's Anne and she is married to her husband Duncan and they have a daughter Tabitha and she and struggles a lot with OCD like genuinely she does have OCD and I think the way the author wrote the OCD representation was very very good I don't have OCD but it was giving me a lot of anxiety when like she couldn't remember how long she's been doing this certain task and I think the way the author wrote about it it seemed very genuine to me as if the author herself has it and it also just made me feel very anxious and confused as to like like at one point in the book Anne was making breakfast for her family and she went to go wash a plate in the sink and the next thing we know Duncan is coming into the kitchen like why are the eggs burning she's like oh I was just washing this plate really quick but then she like thinks back on it and is like wait I've actually been washing this for like 10 minutes or longer and I think that was like really well done like it wasn't just saying like oh she washed it and she washed it and she washed it like it was like a blackout period almost and we as the reader are like confused with Anne as to like what happened like we were just making breakfast and then it's burnt. Like how did that happen? You know, so I think that was really well written for sure. So I definitely will be interested to read more by this author, but I feel like the reveal at the end of this book was kind of predictable. Like by the time it was revealed, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's like nothing special. So I think that's also smart on the author's part to kind of write something kind of predictable maybe as her first book and then do something a little bit more adventurous in the next book. But I would love for her to dive deep into the horror. Like this book was truly giving me some serious anxiety while I was reading it, which I love when books can make me have, you know, strong feelings like that. So really hoping for more by this author, especially in the horror department. I think she would do great with that. So really not a fan of this one, but looking forward to more. The next book I have to talk about is Evocation by S.T. Gibson. And I think this book just solidified for me that S.T. Gibson is the author for me. <laughs> so in this book, we follow three different main characters. We follow David and he is, I think he's like a magician. Is that the right word? He's a psychic prodigy. 
and he he's a Boston attorney moonlighting as a powerful medium for his secret society. And then we also follow a, another character, Reese, who is, they are ex-lovers. They were boyfriends at one point, but have broken up, but they still work together. They're both like psychics and both working for the secret society. And Reese is married to Moira. And Moira is just fantastic. I just love her so much. And the three of them form this relationship as David is being, what's the word I'm looking for? Why have words just completely escaped my mind? David is like, has like a demon in him is what I'm trying to say, but the words are just, there's a word for that, possessed. Oh my gosh, why did that take me so long to think of? David is being possessed by this demon and it is because of his use of magic and the way that he was using his magic, this demon is now in him and he needs Reese's help and Moira's to get rid of it. These characters are absolutely incredible. I love them so, so much and the relationship that they all form together is just beautiful and amazing and this is going to be a four book series and I cannot wait for more. So I'm really hoping that we just explore more of these characters in this relationship because this was phenomenal. I believe I gave it five stars. Like I think I originally gave it a four but then like I can't stop thinking about this book so I think I upped it to five because this was truly so good. And it also doesn't hurt that the physical book itself is stunning. Like, look at that foiling. It's so pretty. So if you haven't read this book, I would highly recommend. And I also find it interesting that like people who have not enjoyed S.T. Gibson's other books, such as A Diary of Blood or An Education in Malice, are obsessed with this. But then there's me who's like, I've loved everything. But then there's people who love A Diary of Blood and an education of malice and don't love this one. So I think I'm just the odd one out and I love everything <laughs> that she's written. I think an education of malice is like my least favorite, but it's still really good. So anyways, this was fantastic. Please pick this one up. I just loved it. And the final book that I read in the month of June was one that I am sad to say I did not love, but also I wasn't like expecting to love it maybe, but um, yeah, that is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. This was ridiculous. <laughs> like this book was way too long, I think. I think, I think Miss Yaros needed to cut this book in half, if not more. I think there was just too much. It was too long and like I will be reading the third book. I do have it pre-ordered because it is gonna be stunning. And like I am, curious to keep reading this series because it is like addicting like when I'm reading it it was fun but it's nothing I'm like absolutely obsessed with so I think I give this one two or three stars I just feel like it was way too long and it just needed to be cut down by a lot and it was kind of boring like it was genuinely pretty boring so it was fine but I will be continuing at least for now. So that is it friends. Those are all the books that I have read in the month of June. Let me know of any books that stood out to you in June that you read or if you have any thoughts on the books that I talked about. I would love to know and I will see you all in another video soon. Goodbye!